Well, it seems like Ofcom, the independent media regulator in Britain, is not really independent. Yes, in this video, we're going to expose another individual working for Ofcom, at the top of it, as an editor of Ofcom, who's been exposed as a little bit political, a little bit left-wing and anti-Brexit. Now, it's not the first time that Ofcom has been exposed. These guys are claiming to be the gods of morality when it comes to uh, media regulation broadcasters. They, they also want to get powers to be able to regulate 2CTV online on the internet, let alone the actual TV channels. They're coming for us soon, but we have plans anyway. Now, what are we talking about? In this video, we're talking about Declan Cashin, who is uh, the Ofcom editor, who has now decided to uh, switch his... Uh, Twitter account or X account into a private account uh, because he's been exposed. <laughs> but thanks to people like Guido, we have discovered uh, some interesting uh, posts uh, that uh, Declan has been uh, posting on social media. Yes, after the Metro reported this news uh, recently, the pensioner was caught on camera spraying the word B on a Margaret Thatcher statue. Declan said we should give her a damehood. But that's not all of it. Let's go through some of the other posts that he's done. In, on, uh, in August 2023, uh, he said that so far Downing Street has no plans for a bank holiday should the lionesses bring it home. Impeach Sunak. He also said about Brexit uh, when uh, James Dyson attacked Rishi Sunak's short-sighted stupid tax policies. Uh, Declan said, yes, prominent Brexit supporter, tell us more about sound economic strategy. In 2022, Declan said, so the Tories reckoned they're gonna force a third prime minister on us since the last election without a fresh mandate? Time to take the streets, lads. This has to end. Now, someone who's also against this Tory government and Rishi Sunak, obviously I agree with some of the stuff he's saying, but that's not the point of it. We as civilians, we are allowed to say whatever we want, but if you have a different hat on, as an independent a bureaucrat or part of a quango or whatever you are regulator, you're not supposed to do that. There's a reason we have the tradition when it comes to civil service and establishment in this country. You work for the state, you idiot. Oh, but there is much more. Declan said uh, Brianna's mother will no doubt be pressured into a photo op with Sunak before the end of the day. I hope she refuses. Uh, he also said that uh, she's, uh, well, Penny Mordaunt is proud of this. Food pantries, uh, just uh, one of the starkest, uh, bleakest manifestations of the atrocious uh, Tory rule of the last 12 years. Yeah, congrats, Penny. He also said, this is this, this, this. The Tories have wrecked this country almost beyond repair. Now, again, I agree with that. But again, that's not his role. The reason I say it's not his role, because when you work for an independent body or so-called independent body, you have to make sure that you remain impartial. You have to get, hire people who remain objective. Otherwise, what do you think? If they are passionately political, and, and there are a lot of normal people out there, if you ask them a question, they would say, yeah, we don't like Richard Sunak, for example. That's different to a political activist who is very vocal, is very passionate about his political views. If you have that as someone who works for the state, then of course you're going to make biased decisions. You're going to go after GB News, for example. You're going to go after 2CTV because you don't like what we stand for. But as we said, this is not the first time Ofcom has gone into trouble. This was also reported by Guido a while ago. Uh, Ofcom director was exposed as an anti-Israel activist uh, by going on the internet and uh, posting a lot of nonsense and saying hashtag free Palestine. Yes, she said this, uh, BLM UK, the Black Lives Matter, as if this wasn't uh, bad enough already, the UK is uh, also said to participate in the ethnic cleansing and genocide of Palestinians. Shame on this vile colonial alliance. Hashtag free Palestine. Now, of course, Ofcom have come back with a statement saying that we are assessing this content against our social media use policy, which requires colleagues to maintain our reputation for impartiality. Well, I say this passionately. Best of luck to the Ofcom bosses with this very important investigation. It's very important to go through every single thing, have meetings about having meetings about having meetings, or instead of just looking at the social media person and fire the guy, yeah, you could just have more meetings. Bureaucracy loves bureaucracy. Anyway, make sure to share this video with everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.